happening tonight? Southwest Floridians sharing some hot opinions on social media right now about that new behind the scenes book about the Trump presidency called Fire and Fury. President Trump calling the book, which just hit the shelves today, phony. Four in your corners, Michael Cadigan, heading to a local bookstore in Lee County to get your take. Michael. Patrick, the book claims to take you inside President Trump's first year in the Oval Office. So I went outside a local bookstore to see if people planned on picking up a copy of Fire and Fury. Fire and Fury now out on bookshelves across the country, but President Trump unleashed fire on the book's author. In a tweet, the president says, I authorized zero access to White House, actually turned him down many times for author of phony book. I never spoke to him for the book, full of lies, misrepresentations, and sources that don't exist. Michael Wolf, the book's author, denies it. The book getting national attention, including readers in Lee County. Some researched it before it hit shelves. I was interested and I went and read some of the excerpts that were published and they were interesting. It was certainly fun reading. How accurate it is? Probably not quite so. Some say they'd read a copy. Since it's in the media and so forth, I think it'd be interesting just to see what it's all about. To go buy that new book that just came out about Trump. But many say the book isn't for them. I have no interest in buying the book. I don't think it's really factual. Like a tabloid type book to me. I don't think I would be real interested. When they don't name their sources, it seems a little strange. I don't think I would care to read it. I wouldn't support that book. I think there's a lot of uh, propaganda and it really is what it's all about. But regardless, if you wanted a copy or not, Fire and Fury flew off the shelves today. The lady told us about how like they weren't, um, they didn't have any more copies of the book, like they're all sold out. And um, how they weren't like, they just, everyone was buying it. Now, if you wanted to get a copy of the book, you might want to call ahead to your bookstore of choice. A couple bookstores I called don't have copies of it. Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner.